What's up, y'all? Victor Chambers here. On the road, as always, in the car. I'm heading to a set of showings for a client. I just left a showing, a showing with another client. Um, and prior to that, I had a signing. So, you know, one question that I see being asked is whether you can be a loan signing agent and um, you know with a nine to five or with a full-time job or with another business and I always say yeah it's absolutely possible and then you know sometimes I see the question asked you know can you be a loan signing agent as well as a real estate agent or how are people managing it and really it comes down to what it would come down to with anything and it's managing your time, managing your schedule, and really being super uh, diligent about that. Super diligent about managing your time, managing all of your activities, um, and you know, just managing your life in general. It's not easy. It definitely is not easy, but it most certainly is uh, is doable. So. In terms of myself, how I do it is, you know, I try to, as much as possible, like I said, you know, shoot to do a certain number of signings during the week, say like seven to 10, something like that. I try to schedule those as much as I can, uh, as early as I can. So for example, like I'm trying to set up next week, um, yesterday, yesterday and today, I'm trying to set up next week. And there's just certain blocks of time, certain blocks of time that I don't schedule signings during. Like my team meets, for example, uh, every day at noon. And so I avoid that time slot because that's like coaching calls and training and um, other type of sessions that uh, you know are very valuable to my business. Um, and then, you know, I also, you know, am taking on new clients and managing my current clients. And so early in the week, I try to get a sense as well for uh, who, I, who I, like who needs my attention in terms of showing houses, who's, who's further along the process of, you know, making a decision. You know, when you take on a lead or take on a client who says they want to buy a house, um, sometimes they've seen maybe one house online that they're interested in, uh, but they're not quite ready to really get out and look at properties. Um, or they just need to get a better sense for what's going on in the market, um, or they need to fine tune their criteria, or they need to get pre-approved. So there's a lot of things that can go into where exactly a client is in, in the process. Um, and so managing that, managing my pipeline is something you know I spend a lot of time doing, um, and obviously you have to kind of coach and 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 coach people along through the process of buying because it's a big decision. So um, I don't know what the heck this street is doing. Okay, um, for some reason my map is not showing on my display in my car. That's why I keep looking down. Um, but yeah, so with this client. I'm showing them four properties today. Um, I just showed another client, like I said, uh, one property. I actually just met that client. Um, so hopefully we'll be working together. But yeah, um, this is this is kind of how you have to do it. You have to become a master at managing your schedule, have to become a master at managing your, your obligations and just be smart, you know? Um, it's a it's a balancing act. It definitely requires juggling a lot of stuff, um, and not on top, not to mention you know my wife, my son, you know family, you know church, and a whole bunch of other things that I'm I'm involved in and that I do, um, and just kind of plain old downtime, which I'm not really good at because I feel like I'm always working, but. Um, yeah, it just really requires uh, a lot of a lot of work and discipline, but it's definitely possible. So yeah, that's that, y'all. Um, I'm just arriving here at this house. I'm gonna show. 
my clients are already here, so I'm gonna jump out the car and meet them, and I'll holla at you guys later. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. So I wanted to finish up on what I was talking about in the last clip, um, I, and I wanted to give you kind of the the secrets of of actually being able to do this part time. As I've said, and I've said in all my videos, I'm a full time real estate agent, and I don't really, I I don't really, you know make a differentiation with whether I'm a part-time loan signing agent, a full-time loan signing agent, because even if I was full-time, I'm running, you know, two or three different businesses anyway. So I don't really look at myself um, from a signing agent standpoint, whether I'm full-time or part-time, but I understand that a lot of people who have full-time jobs, you know, nine to fives, eight to fives, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, are kind of in a position where they have to do this part time. So I want to just kind of recap what I feel like are, or are the secrets to, to being able to do this part time. Since I, you could look at me and say, oh, he's only full time because he runs another business. All right. Um, so I think it really comes down to this. The first thing is that uh, you have to really uh, do a do a self assessment, right? And the self assessment. Um, involves you becoming self-aware of what your situation is, what what are, what are your financial goals when it comes to this business, um, and then how does that translate to signings? How many signings do you need to do to reach that goal? Um, I did a video a while back about like how you can kind of calculate and figure figure that out, so definitely go, go and check out that video. I think it'll be super helpful. But you have to figure out, you know, based on your current schedule based on your your life your situation your your finance your finances and all these different things what uh how many how much money do you need to make and how does that translate to how many signings roughly you need to do and then secondly what is your schedule and how can you get those signings or fit those signings into your current schedule does that mean trying to take one signing every day after you get off work? Does that mean uh, trying to take two or three signings on the weekends, on, on Saturdays? Today's Friday, I'm actually doing two signings tomorrow. One first thing in the morning at 8 a.m., then I'm going to do some showings, and then I'm going to do another signing when I'm done with those showings, all right? And for me, I usually don't do signings on Saturdays, but I'm trying to set up next week to be a little lighter um, just to kind of give myself a, a little bit of a of a breather. So I'm getting in two tomorrow, whereas I don't normally do any signings on Saturdays. So you have to figure out based on your schedule when you can get signings in and then making sure that you have enough opportunities coming your way uh, by signing up for signing services, by building relationships, by trying to go direct when you're ready, of title and escrow officers so that you have opportunities being pitched your way and you're going after opportunities that you can set yourself up to kind of build the schedule that you want as a as a signing agent so if that means doing like i said one or two after you get off work every day taking on a couple on the weekends all of that is definitely possible and you can be successful and you can make a few extra thousand dollars a month part-time as a notary loan signing agent all right then the third thing I think is very important um, and then I'm I'll, I'll be done is like don't compare yourself you know I know you know a few of us uh, notary loan signing agents here on YouTube will in some way shape or form or occasionally kind of share how we're doing and share what we make and really at least for me it's not to you know and for many of the, the the guys and gals that that you guys see, none of us are the type of people that we really try to boast and brag about it. It's really just to be um, inspirational, inspirational, and to encourage you guys that you can do it, no matter you know where you are in your in your journey. Even if you're starting out, sometimes it's hard to see how you can be successful without seeing people that have you know that share their blueprint for doing it. So. You know, you know, you can definitely, you know, like I said, make a few extra thousand dollars. But the thing you have to remember is to not compare yourself, not compare yourself to uh, 
what you see, even what you see me doing, right? Like, I'm. don't compare yourself to me. Chart your own course, chart your own path, right? My, my journey is different from yours. Yours is different from mine. Figure out what your journey looks like, what your path uh, as, a, as a notary loan signing agent looks like, and don't compare yourself to other people. Okay, there's other people making five, 10, 15, $20,000 a month. Yippee, so what? That's great and that's good. And while most people do aspire to make that type of money um, in any job or business or career, right? Don't compare you and where you are to what other people, um, to, to how other people are, are succeeding or, or making it in this business. Um, figure out what success looks like for you, right? And I, I've talked about that even in a previous video where, you know, I've talked about how, um, you know, it seems like 10K is the magic number in this business for whatever reason. Uh, but don't get stuck in that vortex of, of comparing yourself, you know? And that really is what it boils down to you, becoming self-aware and like figuring out for yourself, what are your goals? What, what are your financial goals? How does that translate into the number of signings you need to do? When can you actually do those signings? Measure, managing your time effectively um, with whatever other obligations you have uh, in, your, in your life or with your family or whatever, and then not comparing yourself to people. Like, you know, just don't, just don't do it because you'll never, uh, you'll never be satisfied and you'll never celebrate and enjoy the success that you're able to get. Um, as long as you're doing everything that you can do to, to make it happen and to meet your goals, that's really what, what matters. So, you know, don't compare yourself to what you see uh, other people out here doing. You know, chart your own course, your own path, and build your business that, the way you want to build it, all right? Um, so that's just my, you know, uh, soapbox for this video. Um, as you can tell, th those really aren't secrets. There's just, they're just ideas that I kind of personally espouse and and kind of, you know, think about and take with me in terms of how I'm doing. Um, and honestly, I eat my own, I eat my own advice. I take my own advice when it comes to all of that. So um, I hope you found this useful and valuable. Um, I'm done for the day, done showings, I'm done signings. I'm going in to relax for the rest of the day because tomorrow is going to be another busy day as well. So hope you guys had a great week. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload brand new content. And if you are not subscribed, I, I know I just said this, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, that obviously helps you know more people uh, see the content. I think I'm providing amazing value, just practical wisdom uh, about this business and about my journey. Um, and I think, you know, it sounds like a lot of you have been encouraged and, and inspired and have learned from the things that, you know, I've, that you've seen on this, on this channel. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. All right. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.